guys. I'm going to tell you about the story. A Hooters girl stole $100 from me. We're going to call her Shannon for the purpose of this video. And in the beginning, I liked her. Maybe it was because I was an underdog, new to the job, wanted everyone to like me. So I was nice to everyone. But then I don't really fuck with people who think that they're bullshit. And she thought that she was literally so fucking hot. She tried to say that we look alike, but like, no. Like, don't ever fucking say that shit again. She was really skinny as fuck. She was tall, kind of tall. Not too tall, probably like 5'8". And skinny as fuck, like no boobs. Like, literally so skinny, like sickly. Like, even her face looked like so fucking skinny, you know? She had really pretty colored eyes, though. Um, and her nose, it kind of looked like a hawk, to be honest. Like, I'm not making fun of her or anything. Like, that's just what it looked like. Um, and her face was very, like, long, up and down wise. She kind of looked like a man dressed up as a girl. Like, I'm not being mean. Like, I'm literally just telling you that's what she looked like, you know? She thought she was the hottest thing ever. I remember one time we had a contest and we were playing bingo and you had to sell three calendars, crab legs, nachos, like all this stuff. And I was just looking at it and I was like, wow, that's gonna be hard to sell the crab legs. You know, it's kind of like hit or miss. And she was like, no, that will be easy. All you have to do is just be like, will you please buy the crab legs from me? I'm trying to win this contest. And I was like, I just let people talk like that, like whatever. I actually ended up winning the contest, so that's how that goes. But she just talked like so much shit, like she was the best. Think you're the shit, as long as you don't bother me. So we had this customer that was a regular, let's call him Ron. And whenever Ron would come, he would always tip $100. It doesn't matter who he sat with, he would always tip $100. And he would ask me all the time, when do you work? I want to come sit with you. When do you work? He kind of creeped me out, to be honest. He was always like, where do you live? What kind of car do you drive? Very personal questions. At the time, I was fighting with my roommates, and he would always ask about my roommates. And like, he just kind of creeped me out a little bit. But I mean, he tips $100, okay. So... I was really busy one night. I had seven tables. I was taking the order of a family and he came and sat down in my section. And so right after I took their order, I went to go greet him because you're supposed to greet your guests within 30 seconds. Um, but like I said before, I was taking an order, but then I went right after and he already had a drink and I thought like, nothing of it because teamwork is like a thing. You know, if the girls see that you're busy, Sometimes they'll greet your table for you if they're being nice and get them their drinks because that 30 second thing It's good customer service. It's a thing, but I was busy. So I was like, oh, that's nice Like someone got his drink So then I'm like talking to him or whatever and then Shannon comes over and It's like listening to us talk and then I ask him. I'm like you ready to order. What do you want? And then Shannon jumps in and she's like I already took his order and I was like what do you mean like, he's in my section like how how are you ringing that up because my table is assigned to me so how did you get access to that like i'm confused i was literally like what and she was like yeah you took too long so i went ahead and got in his order because you were taking way too long like i wasn't even taking that long but i was like okay but so you're allowed to jump in and take my table honestly i didn't even care about the 100 dollars. i fucked the 100 dollars, but like why are you stealing my table, you know? That's not okay, that's not a thing. And then I went back to talk to him. We were not even talking about her, like we were just talking. And he was like, yeah, I, I didn't realize that she had taken your section. I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't know why she did that to you. And I was like, no, it's fine, like don't even worry about it. And we were just, went back to talking about our own thing. I found out through one of the girls that she literally went up to the manager and told them that I didn't greet my table and, and that she needed to take the table. And of course the manager, like they didn't even know who the table was. They were just like, okay, yeah, I'll assign it to you. Cause I guess they thought I was busy. I was like fucking pissed the rest of the night. Like <sighs> since I was still fairly new, I probably worked there for about two months. I went up to her and I was like, hey, I'm sorry, I didn't know that you wanted my table so badly, but I just wish that you would have asked me first out of respect. And she was like, well, I don't like how you said all of that in front of him. Like, that's not very customer service like. What did she say? She was like, that's not very professional. Like, I don't do that. I was like, okay, but I was just asking you because you took my table. And she was like, okay. Like, she was being so fucking rude. And then I'm like talking to all the girls that work there. I'm like, are they allowed to take your table? Like, I'm confused. Like, why would she do that? And they're like, no, she just wanted the money. She just playing dirty. Like, she just wanted to steal your table for that $100. And then it's funny though, because he came in the next time that I worked and I didn't even have him 
at my table like he wasn't even sitting at my table but I went over to say hi to him and he literally slid me a hundred dollars and he was like sorry about that like, again I'm really sorry and I was like no it's fine you don't even have to do this and he was like no I want to like she was being such a bitch and yeah I fucking hated that girl honestly like she was so rude and I just hate people who think that they're such hot shit and like they're better than everybody else you gotta be down to earth you know yeah I don't fuck with her <laughs>